That's what makes big D is disappointment. It happens. We get disappointed in the little things because people let us down or we let ourselves down. We get disappointed when something doesn't work out or when we're running late. Small disappointments, large disappointments come when we count on people and trust is broken. But being disappointed doesn't have to define you. Being disappointed is part of life. Sometimes we're disappointed because something doesn't go the way we had planned. And in those situations, I have to ask, do you ask yourself, am I trying to be con too controlling? Maybe I need to let go of the control and the disappointment won't be so big. Not everything works out exactly how we have planned, but that doesn't mean it won't work out. In fact, it might be different or take longer, but it might also work out. So instead of being disappointed the next time something doesn't go your way, ask yourself, am I trying to be too controlling in determining the exact direction of this particular situation? And is it time to let go? Disappointed, dang it. That's okay. <laughs> to, is it time to let go and let God and not be so disappointed? Instead, to remember where we're going and to take the detours that we might need to, but then to get back on track and head in the right direction. Don't let disappointment define you.